And now we have the last team of the Texas Rangers, who were very busy early in the offseason. Mm-hmm. Uh, their whole lineup looks very different. Yeah. Four players acquired this offseason. Mm-hmm. So you got Willie Calhoun, DH, Marcus Semien, second base, mm-hmm. Corey Seager, short, Mitch Garver hitting fourth at catcher. Uh, Nath- <laughs> Sorry. Fangraphs listed as Nathaniel Lowe. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that, well, he changed his name to oh, Nathaniel did he? Lowe. Yeah, I had yeah, no idea. Uh, yeah. Nathaniel Lowe or Lowe? It's Lowe. Brandon, Lowe. Brandon Lowe, Nate, Nate Lowe. Lowe. So, so Nathaniel, Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe, yeah. That caught me off guard. Uh, they have Adolis Garcia in center, uh, Cole Calhoun in right, Nick Solak in left, and Andy Ibanez uh, at third for now. And they also have the rookie, not rookie, but he's a prospect, Jung. Josh maybe? Jung, yeah, yeah, who he might be up to. Uh, their bench, Jose Trevino, Yanni Hernandez, Jake Mariznick, and Eli White. It's not a bad bench. It's not bad. No. Their offense is solid. Yeah. Uh, John Gray, this Martin Perez, Dane Dunning, Taylor Hearn, and AJ Alexi. Is their yeah, Martin Perez is your number two. Yeah. Ugh. He's like a okay five. No, he's like a he's a good five and okay four. At best. At, At best. best. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bullpen. Just Not much as bad. Mm-hmm. Joe Barlow, Spencer Patton, Brett Martin, Josh Sorbs or Sores, mm-hmm. uh, Dennis Santana, Josh King or John King, sorry, Nick Snyder. <laughs> And Kobe Allard, but you also have Leclerc, who's her, who should be coming back. They're soon. Just, they're just, and Jonathan Hernandez. They're just yeah. banking on Jack Leonard's speed through the minor <laughs> leagues. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because looking at their pitching prospects, Spencer Howard, Glenn Otto, Yeri Rodriguez, all in AAA. Matt Moore, non-roster invite. Oof. Nick Tropiano. Tropiano's um, okay, right? Yeah. Uh, that's about it. Jack Leiter's in high A, so he's not even. Cl- he's twenty two. He'll be. He'll be up. Not he'll. September call ups. No, well, he, next year. Yeah, he'll. St- I think he'll be spring training and then see how he is spring training. Yeah. Then. Um, my bold prediction: Semyon and Seager combine combined for sixty home runs, but no starting pitcher has an ERA under four point five. Okay. okay, I can see that. John Gray is the only one I would be worried yes, about. I but, think he can get like a four. But looking at the offenses in the rest of the AL West, uh, he can get one bad outing or a couple bad outings in a month. True. Could hurt him. Mine was um, – so, so okay, so this is bearing any pitch starting pitches they get before the season starts. Okay. I'm sure Bills is the same thing. But I mean, yeah, if they yeah. sign like Zach Ranke or someone like that, that you're beat. Adjust the numbers a little bit. Four out of the five that's going to be announced as a starting five opening day. Okay. Starting pitchers. Well, four of them will have an ERA over five at the end of the season. Oh, just upping me. Yeah. Sorry. So, okay. So, unless they make like, I, I'm banking on John Gray to have like a four, three, high three, right. low four. The rest of those guys, sure. Everything else that. over five ERA. Okay. okay. Um, mine is Mitch Garver will be the best hitter on the team, not Simeon and not Corey Seager. In what categories? Because he's not hitting 300. Oh, get ready. 292, <laughs> oh 41, and 105. 41 bombs and 105 RBIs <laughs> Mitch Garver. in Texas Rangers. Well, he hit 36 or 37. Yeah. No, I'm talking the about new the range- 291. Yeah. 291, I mean, the baby. The new Ranger Stadium is a hitter for He's going to be raking in Texas, and he's going to be loving life. Hitting between or hitting next to Corey Seager. No, Simeon, Corey Seager, one of them. Uh, he's hitting between... I just read it. Uh, Seager and Nathaniel Lowe. All right. Well, if he moved up a little wow. bit, it'd be a little better. If he batted Wait, second, well, if he batted second, he'd be yeah. great. But you're not having Mitch Garver batting second. It's crazy. 2019. Well, Judge bat second. 2019, he had 31 home runs and only 64 RBIs. That's insane. Yeah, he, that's what he's going to have 102 yeah, now, or whatever I said he. Mitch Garver's not hitting 290. 105. Uh, he's hitting at 292, actually. So. <laughs> And yeah, if he does that, then yeah, hit him second for sure. He's, he, he, <laughs> Mitch Garver is going to be the best third, hitter. Okay. He's going right. to be the best hitter. Simeon and uh, Corey Seager might be better as a career as a Ranger, but next year, it's all Mitch Garver. It's an adjustment game. period for them. To They're like, Garver, like it's too hot. 192 with 41 home runs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's fine. 192 is fine. I think it's oh, below the Mendoza line. It is. Yeah. We got to switch that to like a current player instead of Raul Mendoza. Oh, yeah, I know. The Chris Davis. The Chris Davis line? Yeah. No, that's 200 strikeouts. That's true, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's Mark the, Reynolds. <laughs> that or the Joey Gallo line. Yeah, he could hit over 200, okay? Batting average, yeah. With yeah. 200 strikeouts. That too.